Hi, I'm Robert O'Brien from O'Brien Guitars. Once again, we're at the end of a year, this year 2016, and a lot has happened here at the O'Brien Guitars Workshop. And this year, I even had to take notes. So much has been going on. I did so many things that uh, I didn't want to leave anything out. Let's start with the uh, 13 students that actually came into my shop and built guitars with me. 11 of them uh, came in and did one-on-one -on -one classes with me, and two of them came in for a two-person building class. They all left with guitars. We had a great time, told a lot of jokes, drank, drank a lot of Brazilian coffee, and uh, uh, ate some uh, French pastries. And I want to thank the guys that come in and, and study with me. I know that it's not easy to get away from you know, family and jobs and things, but thank you very much for the people that take the time out of their busy schedules and to come in and build guitars with me. If you don't do that, I don't have a way of making a living. So I'm very grateful for the folks that take the time out and make the effort to do that. Uh, I also taught uh, classical and still string uh, voicing master classes here in the shop. Students come in and over the course of two days, they uh, learn how to select soundboard material. They brace uh, and uh, shape the braces. I don't particularly care for the word voice, but they shape the braces and they leave with an example they can use on a guitar or put on their wall and use for helping them building future guitars in, down the road. Uh, this year I also went to Taiwan. I was sponsored by Neil over at the Luthier Woody's workshop there in Taipei. Uh, spent uh, a week there giving master classes, running around the island. Actually had some time uh, to take the family with me this year. So we, uh, we got a, a nice little vacation out of it. Uh, had a great time. So thank you all those that attended that event. In July I was in Sao Paulo, Brazil where I gave my uh, guitar building course there to 16 people this year. Uh, we did uh, the Dreadnought guitar model this year. So thank you all of the people from all over Brazil and um, from Canada. We had a student from Canada there as well. So I had to do double duty. I had to teach in Portuguese, I had to teach in English because uh, he didn't speak uh, Portuguese. But we had a good time over the course of 10 days, built 16 guitars and the people left with not only a good experience and knowledge of how to build their own guitars, but they left with a guitar as well. Uh, I attended a couple of guitar building festivals or shows this year. One of them was the Guitar Foundation of America conference or convention here in Denver, Colorado. I also attended the Santa Barbara Acoustic Instrument Celebration in Santa Barbara, California. Thank you for all those that came by my booth, shook my hand, took pictures with me. And a few of you have been brought guitars that you built using my online courses. And I was pretty impressed with some of the work that you guys were bringing in. So thanks for coming by and talking shop with me. I launched a few courses this year as well. I added to my library of online video luthery instruction. One of them was a neck reset course with Michael Baskin of Baskin Guitars right here in Fort Collins, Colorado. Michael's an expert on doing neck resets for Martins and other instruments. And so we filmed the process and he really makes it look easy. So if you need to do a neck reset, this video will show you how. I also went to Atlanta, spent some time with Kent Everett in the Everett Guitars Workshop. And we filmed a course on how to do fretwork. It's been very well received. Also, we launched in an online version uh, his video course that was previously on DVD is now in an online version on how to do the arm bevel. Very, very cool addition to your, uh, to your uh, guitars. It makes a nice addition and people love it. Uh, I also uh, launched a classical guitar voicing course. I had filmed that years ago and it had just been stored on an old hard drive and I went ahead and pulled it out, edited it, and now it's available. I also filmed and edited a Florentine cutaway uh, video course. So if you, any of those uh, topics interest you, they're now available on my website in the online course section. Uh, in addition to launching those courses, I filmed a few other courses. Uh, Brazilian luthier Juan Casillas uh, has uh, been building uh, archtop guitars for a number of years, has his own shop with a few helpers down there in Brazil. I hosted him here in my shop. We spent 30 days together, traveled around Colorado, did some sightseeing and attended a few events. And we also, during that time, filmed a complete course on how to build an archtop guitar. So I should start editing that here in the next few weeks and hopefully it will be available uh, around springtime of next year. I also spent a couple of weeks in uh, Prince Edward Island, Canada where with Heidi Litke of Red Sands Ukuleles, we filmed an online video course on how to build a ukulele. And that also will be available shortly after the archtop course is done. These things take a lot of time, folks. Uh, the filming process takes a long time and the editing process takes a lot longer than the filming process. So as soon as I can find time to edit all this stuff, I'll get it out and make it available. I know some of you are already asking about it, but please be patient. I'll get it out as soon as I can. Another event that I attended this year was the annual Guitar Town event at Copper Mountain, Colorado. Uh, I've been involved with that event every year since its inception. 
This year they asked me to do a couple of lectures. Uh, one was on uh, guitar setup, and another lecture we did uh, along with Jim Deeming here, a fantastic fingerstyle guitar player here in Colorado. We did a, a lecture demo on how tone woods and body sizes and shapes affect the sound of the instrument. And that was very well received. I'll probably be doing it again next year. If you're in Copper Mountain around August, be sure to, to attend that. In addition to all that, I found some time to write a couple of articles for the Guild of American Luthiers and their uh, quarterly magazine, American Luthery Magazine. Uh, one of the articles uh, was how to fix a smashed guitar. Now, my uh, mentor, the person who taught me how to build guitars years ago, Antonio Tessarini in Brazil, had a, a guitar that came in and it hit the floor and was completely demolished. I thought, man, you're going to have to retop, you're going to have to you know, do a lot of work on this. But no, he actually uh, was able to put it back together. So there's an article on that, American the Three Magazine, with a bunch of pictures showing how that was done. Also in conjunction with Antonio Tessarini in Brazil, I did an article uh, in the fall edition of uh, number 127 of the magazine, American the Three Magazine, on how to convert a six-string guitar into a seven-string guitar. Very, very interesting article, uh, so I, I recommend you check that out. In addition to all that, I found time to build a few commission guitars this year. One was a, a seven-string guitar that went to Chicago, did a few other uh, guitars I took to shows and uh, commission guitars, and I also did my uh, cardboard guitar, which is my take on the Antonio Torres paper mache guitar. So if you were at one of the shows, or you're in, and I even took it to Taiwan, uh, if you were able to play that instrument, I hope you enjoyed it. Very, very interesting uh, experiment that I did there. Next year is uh, shaping up to be just as busy as this year, if not more. Now, I always tell myself, you know, next year I'm going to slow down, and it, it never really works out that way. But I'm trying. <laughs> Uh, next year, uh, I already on the calendar, uh, I have accepted uh, invitations for the Guild of American Luthiers Convention in Tacoma, Washington. I will be a, a lecturer there. Uh, unfortunately, I had to turn down the Asia uh, invitation, the uh, Association of String Instrument Artisans, uh, in June due to scheduling conflicts. I will not be able to, to be at that event. Perhaps uh, the following year I'll be able to be there. I also accepted an invitation in Texas in March to come down and do some lecturing at the uh, uh, Luther's group down there in northern Texas. Invitations to shows keep coming in. Vancouver is one that's uh, popping up, and there's another one in Washington and Oregon. There's, there's all kinds of shows are popping up. I'm receiving invitations of those. I haven't uh, accepted any of the invitations yet. I'll keep you posted if I decide to go some of those throughout the year, and you guys can come by and talk shop with me. Wow, I think that's about it. It's been a very long year. But the most important time of the year this time is the holiday season, the Christmas season. So I wish everybody that watching the video here a very Merry Christmas and a happy holiday season. Remember, take time out for family. If there's something on your bench, it'll wait. Give it a week or two. Spend some time with the family. Enjoy the holidays. And we'll see you right back here in January making sawdust again. Until then, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and Happy Building. <music>